Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Chris Winter and in this video, I'm gonna go through some of the best cameras for travel so you can understand which one might be best for you. By the way guys, I'm giving away a $25 Amazon gift card once this video hits a thousand likes. So if you wanna enter, all you need to do is subscribe to this channel and follow me on my brand new Facebook page, which is linked down below under this video. By the way guys, also definitely make sure to check out my brand new list, the top 10 best cheap cameras for travel. That link will be in the description box below under this video, you can take a look. But anyway, let's take a look at some of these cameras for travel. So today's question asks, hey Chris, I'm about to go backpacking for the next two months and I'm looking for a good quality, small, cheap camera. Got any suggestions? Well, first off, that's awesome that you're going backpacking. I remember I did that through Asia a few years ago and I really enjoyed it. Now, in terms of travel cameras, there are heaps of different cameras that might work for you. My absolute favorite camera for travel is this one right here. This is the Panasonic GM1 and I've had this one for three years and I absolutely love it. The GM1 is the world's smallest interchangeable lens camera, which means of course you can change the lenses and it takes stunning photos. Now I'd highly recommend pairing it up with this lens right here. This is the Panasonic 20 mm f1.7. Now this is a little pancake lens, but it's got a really wide aperture of f1.7, which means you can get some really nice bokeh or background blur. But really the best thing about this camera is its size. It easily fits into a jacket pocket or a larger pair of shorts. I've taken mine around the world and I still use it a lot. By the way guys, let me know in the comments below which camera do you think is the best for travel and why? And I'll take a look at your comments. Next up, if you're looking to get a DSLR for travel, I'd look for a lightweight and small body, something maybe like the Canon T6 or the Nikon D3400. These are some of the smallest DSLRs that you can buy and if you pair them up with a small prime lens like the 50mm f1.8 or the 30mm f2, you'll be more than likely to take your camera around more, which means you'll be taking more photos. You can even go for something like the Canon SL1, which is one of the smallest DSLRs that Canon make. By the way guys, if you wanna check out any of the gear that I talk about in today's video, I've got it all linked in the description box below under this video so you can take a look. Of course, as a backpacker, there's a good chance that you'll be spending a lot of time at the beach and in the water, so I'd highly recommend getting a small action camera. Now, this one here is my favorite at the moment. It's the GoPro Hero 5 Black, and it's an absolute beauty. It's a fantastic little camera, and this version has a few new features like voice control and linear mode, which really makes it the perfect little travel action camera. The GoPro Hero 5 Black also doesn't need a protective case, which is something that you would have had on the older GoPros, which means that's one less accessory you have to carry around, which I know is an important thing when you're traveling light. So that was some of my suggestions on the best travel cameras. Now, if you haven't done it yet, make sure to follow me on my Facebook page to go into the draw to win a $25 Amazon gift card. That'll be linked down below. And also definitely make sure to check out my top 10 list of the best travel cameras. Now, some of these make it and some don't. So if you do wanna check it out, the link will be in the description box below under this video and you can take a look. Hope you guys have a fantastic day, safe travels, and I'll see you next time. Bye.